let's take a look at how we can connect the Promethean to our staff devices in our classroom. To begin, we're going to click on the Promethean logo button, which opens up our unified menu. Then we're going to go to Screen Share. That will open up a window with the name and ID of the panel, and then we can go to our waiting room, where you'll see we can have up to 39 different devices. Again, not just the staff devices, but your student devices as well, the Windows-based devices in your classroom. To get started with my device, I'm going to use Windows key and K for connect. And you'll see the ID of the active panel there as an option. I will select that. And you'll notice that it gives me an option to allow mouse, keyboard, touch, and pen input from the device. This allows me to interact with my staff device from the Promethean and vice versa. Back in our waiting room, you'll notice my name pops up and you'll notice a green dot. And that's confirming that I've also selected the interactivity uh, option to allow the Promethean to interact with my staff device. So I'm going to select my name and I can select up to four uh, and then we're going to share. And there I have my staff device that I can now interact with. Uh, with the Promethean panel. Once I've connected my device to the Promethean and I've allowed the interactivity, I can utilize the freeze button. If I want my students to read this paragraph, for example, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze that. And we'll notice the snowflake in the upper right corner. And so now on my staff device, I'm able to manipulate that without interfering with what's being displayed on the Promethean panel. So I can set up the next frame and then unfreeze and I'm ready for my next presentation.